High school students, they're, they're battling. There's a lot of pressure that the system's put on students to know who they want to be. Even as early as grade eight and nine, they're starting to make subject choices that could actually affect where they go in future. There's still an attitude in Australia generally that we're isolated and we're not part of the world. It is really important that we take our place in the world and we understand who we are and that we live on this planet all together. Talking to the heads of department at the time that there's these amazing programs out there, why aren't we doing this? There was one in particular that really resonated with me and it was a program called Deforest Action. The communities are actually fighting for their lives. It was when I was actually in Borneo. When you see the issues yourself, when you're placed in that experience, it made that connection for me that actually I am part of this issue and I wanted students to feel that. If students can't care about humanity when they're teenagers, then they never will. And so we have projects from the Global Learning Centre. We have people helping from Together with Humanity. You know, some of you don't know what you want to do next year. Here's a perfect opportunity for you to do something meaningful. And I don't see how that same experience can come out of a textbook, a PowerPoint, the traditional sort of avenues. We actually saw some really transformative experiences. Their culture, the things we have, just all changed. You do go back to being just a human. You don't have to worry about your ego or your job or anything else. The challenge I think when we came back is helping students integrate back into their normal. Get up every morning, go to school. But when we're in Tembuk, you get up, you do something different every day. Variety, that's what we need in classrooms. It is a culture shock and that's so much different from a teacher standing at the front of the classroom and telling you what a rainforest is like. You're now an agent of change potentially because you have that knowledge, you've had that experience. You gotta take it home. You gotta do yeah, stuff in you your own. You gotta to integrate out. and branch yeah. out. Being part of the environmental kind of club and going to that and presenting to her was definitely a next step. I've been able to do more stuff with my family, do more stuff for myself. I see myself in the future, I wanna be doing things with kids and then being with kids there, like it made me want to do that more. So I've like come back with basically a new a whole new me. Our students are ready. Our language program has gone from two teachers 10 years ago to 11. 50% of our students in year nine have chosen a language of their own choice. Any school could do that and they shouldn't be scared about that. I just hope that we can engage other teachers to take those risks because I'm only one person, but hopefully if we can instill teachers with that capacity, those skills, hopefully we can see more change happening in Queensland so we have students who are better equipped to deal with a more globally diverse future and community.